What's up guys, this is Ashish Tiwai here and you are watching Technotips ESP.NET MVC tutorial. So this is part 53 of this video series. In this video, I'm gonna discuss about how to use AutoMapper for member method in ESP.NET MVC. This video is the extension of previous video, so please make sure to watch part 52 of this video series. In that video, I have explained how to use AutoMapper in ESP.NET MVC. Okay, so let's get it started. In the previous tutorial, we have just created this auto mapper web profile inside the infrastructure folder. And then we have just created the map between the employee domain model and employee view model. Let's have the view of it. So here is my employee domain model where we have just taken the some properties like uh, employee ID, name and department and department ID, etc. And impl in employee view model, we have again employee ID name department ID etc okay so here in my controller you will see this method get employee record where I am just fetching record from the database here you can see I have just created the object of employee domain model as well as employee view model okay and then I am just getting the record from DB here you can see I'm just getting the record from DB and finally using auto mapper i'm just copying all data from this list to this list means uh, from here you can see the employee domain model to employee view model okay so let's have a look let's reload it all right so we have you here you can see i have just got some data into this list like 10 record here you can see address india department id and okay and right now my employee vm list is empty okay now function f10 now here you can see employee vm list has also got the uh, 10 record so uh, address india department id 1 okay and I am finally returning this employee VM list to my view okay let's give it continue so in this way uh, I'm using my auto mapper to copy data from one model to another model okay now let's fulfill our today's objective so what is the use of for member okay I'll just stop it so how to use the for member method dot for member okay and now here you can see customize configuration for individual member here the individual member means individual property let's suppose you have your employee id so during auto mapping you just want to encrypt this employee id and then assign to this employee view model okay at that time it will be a string okay so you just want to convert your integer employee ID to in to a string employee ID okay so with the help of four member you can do this settings okay so first of all I'll just take one property so just copy that here is my view model so string let's say extra value I'm just taking this property and just copy that and paste it in your employee domain model okay and let's convert it int so this is my integer value I'll assign some value uh, to this uh, property and then we'll encrypt it and I'll receive the string value of that encrypted uh, integer okay so for member now here you will assign your destination so using lambda expression use test dot extra value okay so this is your destination here you can see 
a string employee view model so it is coming from employee view model and here you will use opt we are opting opt dot map from okay so we are getting from source so src implies src dot extra value okay so this is integer and this is a string so you can during auto mapping you can convert it into a string so this is the flexibility okay one single bracket okay so so this is the way let's suppose uh, your source extra value is an integer and you want to convert it into a string and then assign to this extra value it can be anything you can take any num uh, any name of this property okay it can be extra value one extra value two anything and you can assign the value of this to this okay now I'll just take an example of encryption encrypt okay so I'll just create this method okay so for that I just need to create an a static class okay so public static your class and your will have extension method this is your class and this class will have your static method so that will be public static okay your method name is encrypt you can just copy that okay so you want to get the public static string so the return type is your string and there okay so here is my integer and I want to uh, the write the uh, extension method of an integer okay so using this keyword space okay your integer 32 class okay so use your integer 32 I'm just adding uh, another method to this class okay so it is an num it is an integer I'll just get the number here and we'll return let's say I just want encryption okay so I'm just uh, not doing encryption only I'm just attaching a string oh sorry I say techno tips colon plus num okay so this will return you know the string of this one now let's check out the error cannot convert lambda expression to type a string because it's not a delegate type okay so let me create put that into different class okay so this is very important now create outside of this class now error will be removed okay now similarly you can do for different uh, properties also okay so first of all I'll just assign this value okay so there are you know a lot of method given here I'll just remove some functionality like searching I'll just keep my simple method here all right so here we have my paging and then integer count and I can directly use this 
okay so here we have count and here we are just getting the record from the database and then we are using the auto mapper okay so before that I just need to assign a value to my extra value so extra value equal to let's say integer so I'll just assign 5 okay and let's run run this application and put a breakpoint here so here you will see the extra this extra value is equal to 5 before assigning to this employee VM list okay now let's run it and let's check out the output so here you can see in your list before you're getting from database I have assigned a custom value to the extra value okay so extra value property you know here you can see 5 for each you here you can see for each record we have extra value as 5 okay and right now the employee VM list is empty okay and now let's put a breakpoint here so it will run for you know each each record okay now let's function f 10 okay so here we got because while copying data from this model to this model here it's calling the encrypt okay so extra value dot encrypt so this method has been called here and here you will receive an integer value that is 5 and it will return techno tips now okay now continue continue it will run for you know 10 records okay so just put a breakpoint here and make continue remove the breakpoint continue okay now here you have your employee VM list now here you have just got the extra value as techno tips colon 5 okay so in your case it will be your encrypted value okay you can write code for your, the encryption okay so this is cool now you can see your list here now let's try some different example stop it and in your domain model let's copy this and my current date okay so this is the property I'm taking and taking it as date time okay so I just want to convert it into a string let's say copy that and here I'll just paste it this into my view model and it should be a string okay so I just want this to be string so now the same go to auto mapper way profile and you can write method for your you know for each for member for each property okay so just copy that and paste it here okay so dot for member and there you have your destination so destination is your current date okay which is an which is a string and your source value is same of that dot current date here this is the date time okay now dot to string and inside that you can have you know mm slash td slash wifi y hh colon mm okay now this is and finally you can have your one bracket is missing alright now 
it's a chain you know dot four member first property dot four member second property you can do this like okay now again I'm just using the date current date equal to date time dot now okay so I have assigned the current date and current time here now again let's put a breakpoint here and run this project here you go so in your list we have the date property here you can see current date is 31st March 2018 right now it's 20 hours 49 minutes okay and now I'll just put a breakpoint here and continue uh, now here you can see in VM list we have we must have a string here you can see current date is okay so this is 31st March 2018 and right now it is 8 849 okay so in this way you can use your four member this is very important if you are doing a big project you you can have the encryption you can have the decryption and here you have you know reverse mapping something you are posting from server so it will be you know encrypted form and then you can write for you know decrypt method you can just create a decrypt method and write code inside in, inside that method okay so this is all about the four member method hope you like this video if you like this then give a thumbs up and do share this video among your friend and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed have a great day bye bye